Hi everybody. Hey guys. Hey, it's uh, February 24th and it's day 17. So we are here to give another update about what's going on. Get everyone prepped for my surgery that's going to happen on Friday, this Friday. So, okay, so we'll kind of recap everything <clears throat> that's gone on. Last we told everybody was that I was HR pos or ER positive and PR positive. We didn't know about the HER2 yet. It was still in the gray area. Yeah. Um, and KI67 score was 30, which anything over 20 is aggressive. Right. So um, now we found out that I am um, HR2, HER2 positive. So which basically just helps the surgeons and my oncologist with the plan of attack for after I have surgery. It just kind of finishes out her pathology score. So uh, again, overachieving, she's positive in uh, all categories and uh, uh, aggressive with uh, her KI-67 score. So yeah. Ciao. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, so now um, I got a call and was told that with me being HER2 positive, that I'm going to have harsh chemo for up to four months and um, the remaining year, eight months of just like lighter chemo, which is good because then my beautiful hair will grow back so that I'm, that I'm gonna lose. So I wasn't really um, uh, thrilled or fond, of course, of having harsh chemo for, from, for four months because um, I have a major, major phobia of throwing up. Uh -huh. like, yeah, yeah, like when the kids were sick when they were younger, uh, they were on their own. Yeah. Uh, they'd start hacking and, yeah, yeah. they, yeah. Uh, it's really yeah. bad. Like, I would rather have a stomach ache and be on the toilet than, <laughs> than throw up. I don't want to throw up, so. Yeah, she's always had that phobia. Oh, um, that's, that's yeah. I'm not looking forward to that. So when they talked about her, uh, the harsh chemo, which, again, we knew chemo was going to happen, and the harsh side of it is... She did. Uh, she shed a tear for the first time that I saw because I think that 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 phobia kicked in. So uh, yeah, that was that sucked a little bit. But I'm and, gonna need some prayers for that. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, but but we, we we're gonna try to pump in some anti nausea medicine. Yeah. Keep her, um, hydrated up before we go in. There. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Anybody with a good old hangover knows that uh, a lot of the times when you're uh, throwing up has nothing to do with the Pendleton that your friends make down, <laughs> down your throat. <laughs> Uh, it's a lot of that's from the dehydration, so we'll try yeah. to stay ahead of that. Yeah, also, <clears throat> so that will put me, since I'm going to be doing chemo for a year, um, then I won't get my cherry litters in until after chemo, so. Yeah, which, again, it's no big deal. No. Um, you know, they'll uh, just give some more time if she wants to grow those bad boys up and uh, make, make money on the side, so. <laughs> that's no. not happening. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, so last week also, um, I had a... This week. Well, just this, yeah, this last Wednesday, I had a CT scan done. Um, I don't know the results back from it yet. Yeah, so the CT is from the, basically the pelvis up, and that'll kind of tell mm -hmm. where the, uh, the cancer or the tulips may have uh, uh, spread. Yeah, it was really interesting. So when I was laying there before the scan, it didn't take very long for the scan. Um, the medicine that they shot in me... Um, it, a weird feeling, so I it would just started from the top and went down, and it was just this warm sensation. And then the lady told me that it would feel like I was gonna that I was peeing my pants <laughs> I, when it came. You just when, needed when, an excuse to pee your pants. No, I didn't pee my pants, but it was a crazy feeling. So I would never um, admit it. <laughs> I'm not admitting okay, it. Right, right, right. So um, so anyway, and then Thursday. I had a bone scan, <clears throat> so quit looking sad. <laughs> it came back good. Yeah, it did come back good. I just hate that you have to go through all that. No, nothing in my bones, which is good. So That's hopefully good. my That's CT good. comes back too, because that'll tell me, you know, if it's passed into, you know, my liver, my kidneys, anything like that. So, um, you know. So it's been busy. I mean, yeah. It's uh, we're. Uh, it's lots of ups and downs with emotions, but um, Monday yeah. I go in again oh, tomorrow. Right. Yeah, tomorrow. 
I have another mammogram. I have another um, sonogram. And then if they can find anything to do another biopsy. Because they uh, still, if you're following with this, they have not found the source. Now, obviously, we know it's breast cancer because of the scores um, with the ER and the PR and mm -hmm. the HER2. Um, but this is probably a good time to talk about the density. Um, she has a very dense breast tissue. And uh, something... Sounds like they're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she, 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 has, she has dumb boobies. So, but the dense... <laughs> so, so the dense breast tissue... Um, a mammo, if, if you're going to get a mammogram, ask the person doing the mammogram or ask your doctor if you have dense, not dumb, <clears throat> thick, dense breast tissue. Uh, because a mammogram, uh, it's just not going to pick up. Mm -hmm. The chance... It's not as clear if you have less dense breast tissue, and mm -hmm. it was a little annoying to me, and that was a question that I asked. So if, if you can tell she has dense breast tissue and you're, you're a mammogram tech or a doctor, and knowing that you have family history and you're regularly going in to get the mammograms, why wouldn't somebody say, hey, you've got dense breasts and you might look at doing the 3D image, or what, what do they call it? The it's just a diagnostic. The diagnostic. Mm -hmm. And so the, 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 the question that really the doctor says is, you know, the problem is most insurance companies don't cover that, and it's expensive. And, you know, regardless of what somebody can afford, you know, it, it was $800. But at the end of the day, if, if you at least have the option, mm -hmm. and even if $800, bucks, $800 is a lot of money, but... A person would figure that out. I mean, they, they would do some shifting in their budget and make it work. But uh, yeah. So something, if you have dense breast tissue, if you're not sure, ask the doctor. But And if you're doing your mammograms maybe every other year or something, well, but especially if you have family history. But that was something enlightening, I guess, on this uh, journey mm -hmm. about uh, the density and, and uh, kind of the downside of, of having full, dense breast. Yeah. 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 So, um, and we'll probably do another, another video Thursday on you guys. Brian will probably take pictures and stuff of, you know, me from my surgery. We'll see. We'll see how drugged out I am. So, so um, we, we're and, trying to convince all of our friends before she goes into surgery um, Friday morning to get everyone over to come and sign her boobs. No, so when no. she uh, goes into surgery, the doctor will kind of uncover her. Be, no. Oh, no. Yeah. That, no. No. I don't know. I, I can get some people that want to sign it. I'm no. sure it, you know, I'm sure I could get that. No. You just let me know. It's not happening. I, I got the hookup. No. All right. So, um, and you know, I mean, even though our attitudes have been good, you know, we've had our moments and yeah. we've been sad and, yeah. um, but, you know, I mean, I'm still nervous about, I mean, because it's surgery, so, you know, it's just that fear of the unknown thing, you know, not knowing. We're just treating this surgery as a boob job. <laughs> we're, we're not, you know, we're, we're mentally prepared for the boob job. It's not, it's not a double mastectomy with a chemo port and lymph nodes removed yeah. and, and inserts put in. It's, it's a boob job. It's going to so, be tough. Yeah, so that's kind of where we're at there, but, you yeah. know, we're fortunate. We've got a, our friends... Are amazing. We're awesome. We're, we have some we're, we're great, lucky. great we're friends and yeah. Look family. at the shirt. Look at the shirt here. So this is a buddy of mine in a, our fraternity. Uh, in, uh, Albert in this Pike family, Lodge. no one fights alone. So um, yeah. you'll see here. So Wichita Police Department. Yeah. Uh, they're, they were doing a huge fundraiser for uh, I think four officers that are dealing with some uh, tulips. So uh, yeah. But uh, Richard, he called and he's like, "Hey, I need to know your your shirt size and." Heidi's and Braden and Jade and he shows nice. up at our house. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. So uh, it's you know it's the it's the, the little things. Yeah. You know everybody feels like they want to do something just like you know we would do and it's uh, yeah. you know it's, it's the, the the little things and it's uh, it's appreciated. And yeah, it, I even had a, a friend that <clears throat> we haven't seen since uh, Braden was playing softball. Seventh, eighth grade. And um, she brought over um, a breast pillow for me, so which is going to be really nice to be able Not to Not a pillow shaped like breasts, <laughs> but a pillow for under her breasts. So. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. But then, I would be okay with a breast pillow if anybody yeah. wants to send that. So, um, and then we got a whole bunch of other stuff, you know, from friends to get me ready for... Oh, yeah, she got a, she got a grab bag that would just yeah. blow your mind. It's, so, so it's two of our neighbors and the Heidi's great friends, mm -hmm. they've, uh, you know, once four years... 
clear from it Which and is one's good. finishing up her final round of radiation. She's whatever. already done with radiation, so. Yeah. So there, the, unfortunately, we've got some pros in the neighborhood, but they they brought stuff over that we didn't even think about for dry mouth, and they, I mean, just this yeah. basket of stuff was just awesome, and you know that's a. It it means a lot. Yeah, I mean that that's kind of the happy tear stuff because yeah. uh, we. We're we're fortunate. We are. We're, we're fortunate, despite we're, the bullshit that's going on. Yeah, we're very blessed. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. <clears throat> um. So again, yeah, I'm having surgery Friday. So I check in at ten. Surgery's at noon. Sorry about the dryer. Yeah. We still got to do laundry. Uh, but hey, yeah, keep sharing. Uh, uh, Heidi had somebody uh, approach her. Name was Wendy uh, at Walmart yep. the other day. I think it mortified her teenage daughter. <laughs> but we, you know, it was so cool that she came up and, and talked to me because, you know, she's a seven year survivor of triple negative breast cancer that she had when she was pregnant, mm -hmm. had the mast double mastectomy when she was pregnant, went through chemo when she was pregnant. Yeah, she's it's a amazing. Total, total rock star. But she answered some questions that we had. Yeah. So, it, I mean, although her daughter was mortified, don't be mortified. Your mom's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that'd be cool. really cool to get, you know, ladies like that together. So, shared. I mean, again, we yeah. we, had, we would, may have never crossed paths with her. I um, mean, if we did, we wouldn't be able to share the story. But uh, yeah. it's a friend of ours, Rob, who shared the story. And you just never know. Yeah. And, you know, Heidi was wanting to do this to help others. But surprisingly, <laughs> it's probably helped us way more than we thought yeah um, yeah so, so very and, cool you know also when you're um you know praying for us and me for surgery on friday i know i you know just became friends with another lady that she's having her double mastectomy on tuesday here in wichita yeah. her name is marcia so if you can send out some prayers for her that everything goes well on tuesday as well yeah so. and then i think it was on the 14th heather from medicine yeah. She she uh, she went through this about a year ago, and she's uh, she's having her cheerleaders put in. So uh, yeah. cheers for the uh, Yay, cheers! Medicine Lodge Indian cheerleaders <laughs> coming in town. So we're rooting for you. <laughs> yeah. But otherwise, we'll give you an update yeah. Thursday before uh, you start to see maybe our smiles straighten out because uh, we haven't had to do anything crazy yet. But uh, or you might be seeing me go <laughs> on the side. No, you won't because I won't be able to keep up with her because she'll be just darting across. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think if I video that, I'm, I'm getting my butt kicked. <laughs> Thanks, so, guys. Right. Again, please continue the prayers and keep sharing, right. and we really appreciate it. Thank you, guys.